playthrough. And you won't see it now, but soon there'll be zombies and bullets and blood and guts. And did I mention zombies? It's because we're doing the old school Resident Evil 2. Mm -hmm. So it's Strife here again. But Lee here, fresh off a of Dino Crisis, a is playing Resident, Resident Evil 2. Skirts of an American suburb called Rackham. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T-Virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapons. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation. The case was apparently closed, thanks to the efforts of Stars members Chris Redfield and Jill. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from good. They're bad people. Yes, they are. Very bad people. Their cell phones should all be taken away. No, not their cell phones. Dude, I'm just coming off of yesterday. I had to watch the kids in their room all day. Clean their Ugh. room all day. We had threatened to take their Anybody? phones away if it didn't get cleaned. Yep, looks like a gas station. Yep. yep, looks like a dead guy. Oh, no, he's not dead. Guys, a maniac. Why do you bite me? You tasted good. You know, I, what really gets me about these games, it's like they've never ever seen a zombie movie. <laughs> Man, what a mess. They know the word zombie, but what they've never seen this? zombie movies. What was that? Guaranteed, if I have a gun and some zombie comes near me, I'm gonna be shooting it. And I'm not gonna be aiming for something like their leg. I'm gonna be aiming for the head. Ooh, cop shoe tastes good. Well, yeah, she needs leather in her diet. Yeah. Down. We can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. There. <gasps> this police car will save us. Okay. Right? Where are you? I wanted a ride. And the whole place went Great. insane. The radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah, first day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. <laughs> right in front oh, of us. God! Yeah, right in front of a speeding semi. Oh, no, we're playing Sonic Adventure. Could you open the glove box? Woo! Sure. There it's like the me, best God. part of those games is that fucking truck. <laughs> I hate to say this, but Leon, uh... We ow! Maybe he should try to You're play okay? off the racing games. Still in one piece. <laughs> no, you cause one bad accident and everything goes bad. I'll meet you there. Okay. Well, this game definitely felt the need to kind of uh, outdo all the explosions from the first game. Hmm. They were parted by an inescapable destiny. This is just the beginning of their worst nightmare. Ooh. So yes, ah! we did record this a while ago. And it looked but... awful. Yes. So oh my we god, back. get the fuck off me! Well, certainly looks like we're going to be a short playthrough. Um, 
But yes, Lee and I recorded this three weeks ago, give or take. Um, Lee decided she wanted to redo it with a little more fancy looking graphics, so here we are. We still had plenty of time before Lagaya finishes, so we thought, why the fuck not? Yeah. Seriously, though, the first recordings we did looked terrible. Because my emulator, as you can see from Lagaya, is all, was all pixely. Please. But now everything yeah. looks so much better. What are you doing here? Hold your fire! I'm a human! My guy helped me fix it. <laughs> and she's not talking about me, by the way. I'm stupid when it comes to this sort of thing. No, I'm talking about my fiance. Yes. I thought you the person were who's, who said, I'm so fucking excited! In this town? I mean... That person. He's good with technology. He but is good with technology. The entire city was infested with... And no, that's not a euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, not me. I knew you would laugh at that. <laughs> okay, bye, Kendo. But yes, what this actually does is a new set of recordings. This actually gives me a chance to know that I've actually, well, seen this game. Because the first time, I didn't. And he's dead. Yep, and I'm not going back in to pick up his gun either. Nope. Um, basketball would come join us. Oh, you know what? Oh! Get ah! off of me! Get off of me! Ow. If we ever get around to Dino Crisis 2, there's a really unique thing in there that you're gonna like. Dude, what the hell? I, I'm trying to I'm trying to think of what what it could possibly be, and all I'm thinking of is naughty things for some reason. Strife. I mean, I I had a bad day yesterday. I didn't sleep. So now today I'm all amped up, and I don't know what to do with all my pent up frustration. I played some Odin Sphere yesterday. Ooh. So that's yeah, Odin Sphere is what we're going to have in between Lagaya and this. Um. Okay. Actually, after this, by the way. Uh, so it's going to be, the way it's going to work is it's going to be Lagaya, a few episodes I did of Toe Jam and Earl, this playthrough, both Leon A and Clear A, and a dead lady. And then um, Odin's Did you just here. say a deadly? A dead lady. Oh, okay. I was like, what the hell? No. <laughs> oh my gosh. I my my attention drifts. You know this. Well, that's why that's why you have infinite ammo, right? So we don't have to care about that crap. Um, but what what this also gave us a chance to do because we recorded Where this. Where is their blood spatter? What's that? I said, "Where is their blood spatter?" Hmm. And they're kind of shaking. Okay, I can get out of yeah. here. Yay. Um, we did a poll last, or earlier this week. Um, we were, because it's been going on six months since we decided to try this co-hosting thing. And, um... I think it went really well, and I do think we've gained a lot more viewership, a lot more interest, and a lot more people, especially with, like, Gaia, are like, what the fuck, you're actually playing this? That's awesome! Because yeah. apparently it's an underserved thing. Specifically, Dino Crisis and Gaia, Because that's honestly what most of my stuff is, is under... Like, Final Fantasy is one thing, you know, Kingdom Hearts and whatever. They're the popular ones. Everybody would know them, and there's probably been playthroughs to death and whatnot. But stuff like this is probably not... Well, Resident Evil 2 is one thing, but Lagaya, probably not a whole bunch of, like, Let's Plays. Because everything moved to Twitch. So, YouTube-focused playthroughs on, you know, some of the lesser RPG games is kind of neat sometimes. Um, but... I think you mentioned something like, is it something that viewers actually want, or is it kind of like, does it feel like it's kind of forced, you know? Because it was just a thing we started doing, and then 
I just made a poll. A extensive poll with extensive options, by the way. And um Yeah. And then everybody who voted voted either no opinion or very happy with the arrangement. I was like, oh, that can't be any more definitive than that. Really? So we're going to keep doing what we've how, been doing. How many no opinions did you get? I think it was, I think it was like two, three, and two. It's like there were no dissenting opinions. So it was like, I think it was like five to six people in like three or four days. Because oh, I looked at the poll just to see what the questions were, oh, who but I didn't you? vote on it. And it's, oh, when I looked mm -hmm. at it, it said it there had the already been guy. seven votes. Leon. Ah, yes. So, yeah, it was two, three, and two. Sorry, and there were no negatives. Looks like your party has been so what we're doing must be working. About oh my god, ago, you guys like me. There was this Yay! <laughs> involving zombies. Don't worry, I won't let it go to my head. In the upskirts of the city. <laughs> Chris and the other stars members discovered that Umbrella was behind. I love how cr how much they risked everything their lives looks. to reveal the truth, but no one. Not long after that, all this started to happen. Hang in there. Don't. It's almost like me. late PS One, nearly PS Two graphic level now. Mm -hmm. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. But and just go. Barca said that part of it, the Fine. reason. Oh my but God! I'm look how cute you. the memo just looks now. But um, he said that really a lot of it was a lot of the reason why the um, why the ROMs don't translate well on PC without all the shaders and stuff, is because originally these games were played on CRT TVs. Now, you know the old clunky mm. ones. With, yeah. the, with the picture tubes and everything in them. So the games were really designed for that. Hmm. I remember when we used to have those types of TVs. I feel... Uh, but people don't know how good we have it now. Uh, you know what? We could argue that we had it good back then. I mean, we did, but totally imagine did. all the, like, trying to do, like, those old school, like, it, I, I get why people like doing, keep it original, keep the original technology, you know, retro art, stuff like that. And I'm sitting there going, if you give me this game on a modern console, I'm okay with that, because all I got to do is plug in one freaking thing <laughs> in my TV, and I'm good. You know what really spoils a lot of the modern stuff for me, though? No cheat codes. Uh huh. But yeah, the plan here is to get through Leon A and then Player A, uh, mm -hmm. Odin Sphere, and that would give us time because Odin Sphere, judge because I'm judging it based on like not just my speed with the game, which I played it once or twice, you know. Ooh. But how long it takes to do like there are no commentary runs on YouTube and other people playing like full on hello full on runs of it. It's like a twenty to thirty hour game and took them about sixty episodes, sixty whatever. And I probably gonna get around to that sixty seventy episodes with that if if a little less, a little more. And that would give people time while this is running. To say, hey, do you want to see Claire A or Claire B, Leon B, and all that? Okay. Um, For anyone who has never played this game, I'm going to give you a very, very, very helpful tip right here. Do you see this corpse on the ground? Check your corpses. Bullets. Check your corpses. Because a lot of times they have hidden weapon, hidden ammo on them. And this is like the first door that you're going to come across that has a special key that you need to get mm -hmm. into. So we'll get into that. And... Hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
You look tasty. I don't like you. Well, I made him dance a little bit. Yay! And now he did. Bullet dancing is fun. And now he um, did. <laughs> yay. Um, but yeah, between having that in between episodes oh, gives. But did Marcus scare you again? No, my daughter. I just oh. looked over to get my coffee, and then all of a sudden, there's my daughter right there. Hi! What the oh, hell, God. Chloe? No, we're not recording this at 10 o'clock at night, by the way. We're recording this at... Wait, what? 11 o'clock at night, or 11 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh my god! Be quiet. <laughs> she's dying of laughter now because she scared the fuck out of me. <sighs> well, it could it gets you in the right mindset for the game, I suppose, if nothing else. I'm sorry, that was actually kind of funny. Ugh. But yes, given that the poll suggested basically stick with the way we've been doing things, um, well, that's pretty much what we're gonna do is go through this game. Oh yeah, in and the, then... the the last time we did this, I was actually reading the documents for everybody. Yeah, and well, they're like... yeah, it's fine, but here it, I've only picked up two so far. Okay. There's one police memo that's dated August 23rd. This letter is just to inform everyone about the recent movement of equipment that has happened during the precinct rearrangement. The safe with four-digit lock has been moved from the STARS office on the second floor to the eastern office on the first floor. And the code is 2236. This memo I just picked up, the operation report, dated September 26th. The Raccoon Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. Many have been injured, even more were killed. During the attack, our communications equipment was destroyed and we no longer have contact with the outside. We have decided to carry out an operation with the intent of rescuing any possible survivors, as well as to prevent this disaster from spreading beyond Raccoon City. The details of the operation are as follows. Security of Armaments and, com and Ammunition Chief Irons has voiced concern regarding the issue of terrorism due to a series of recent unsolved incidents. On the very day before the zombies attack, he made the decision to relocate all weapons to scattered intervals throughout the building as a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. Unfortunately, this decision has made it extremely difficult for us to locate all ammunition caches. It's become our, our top priority to recover these scattered munitions. To unlock the weapons storage. As stated earlier, it will be extremely difficult to secure all the ammunition. However, a considerable supply still remains in the underground weapons storage. Unfortunately, the person in charge of the key card used to access the weapons storage is missing and we've been unable to locate the key. One of the breakers went down during the battle and the electronic locks are not functioning in certain areas. It's become a top priority to restore the power in the power room and secure those locks. Um, operation report for the 27th. 1 p.m. The west barricade has been broken through and another exchange ensued. We sheltered the injured in the confiscation room on the first floor temporarily. Twelve more people were injured in the battle. Additional report. Three additional people were killed following the sudden appearance of an as-of-yet unknown creature. This creature is identified by missing patches of skin and razor-like claws. However, its most distinguishing characteristic is its lance-like tongue. 
capable of piercing a human torso in an instant. Their numbers as well as their location remains unknown. We have tentatively uh, named this creature the Licker and are currently in the process of developing countermeasures to deal with this new threat. Okay, so... Now Countermeasure you're... known as a machine gun. Yeah, right? Mm. Plop. But as things stand, it's kind of a thing where this will debut after Tojim and Earl because I made that in like two or three hours. I didn't eat it, but I did my best and was like, eh, it'll do it. And then we were like, hey, we'll do this. And then depending on viewership interest, we'll probably do clear A and clear B after Odin's here. So that gives us a good month or so to take a break or so. But, um,. But you were also looking into stuff like Legaia 2 and Parasite Eve and some other games that you were... Because we've been kind of shooting ideas back and forth about what we could or couldn't do yeah. as projects. Um, and I've really got to work... I've got to see if I can get Barca to help me fix what's going on with the Legaia 2 ROM. Because mm -hmm. I'm having this weird glitch of every time... I get in, like, in the very first area, there's a tutorial battle mm -hmm. that I can do to teach me how to play the, how to do the combat mechanics of the game. And the combat mechanics, it's pretty much exactly like the first Lagaya. Mm. Um, but what the problem I'm running into, and you've seen this, is that after the battle is over, scenery disappears Ugh. but then the weirdest part is if i get into another battle and i finish that battle the scenery stays gone if i get into another battle and then i run away the scenery comes back it's really weird Ugh. okay operation report number two from the 28th early morning 2 30 a.m Zombies overran the operation room and another battle broke out. We lost four more people, including David, who, if you remember, was the one recording the first the first operation. No, not David! We're down to four people, including myself. We failed to secure the weapons cache and hope for our survival. Er, hope for our survival continues to diminish. We won't last much longer. We agreed upon a plan to escape through the sewer. There's a patch leading from the precinct underground to the sewage disposal plant. We should be able to access the sewers through there. The only drawback is there's no guarantee this sewage disposal plant is free of any possible dangers. We know our chances in the sewers are slim, but anything is better than simply waiting here to die. In order to buy more time, we locked the only door leading to the underground, which is located in the eastern office. We left the key behind in the western office since it's unlikely that any of those creatures have the intelligence to find it and unlock the door. I pray that this operational report will be helpful to whoever may find it. This was recorded by Elliot Edward. Now for some reason, Brad Zombie was not down there even though I didn't pick anything up on the way to the... the yeah, it might, might have been all the chomps that Leon was taking. I think so. I think I took too much damage. Hmm. Yeah, because there, there was a guy who took a shit ton of bullets hanging around that little uh, aqueduct cubbyhole thing in the police station, and that was Brad from the first game. Um, but yeah, the... The the thing is, is like if if the Lagaya thing gets fixed, then we can add it to a poll as far as what people would like to see next, you know. Yeah, and I um, I would, you know, make sure that I test that thoroughly before I even try to put it up as an alternative. Yeah, because it's it's like twenty or thirty days until Lagaya ends at this point, so we're about halfway done with Lagaya's playthrough, upload wise. Mm-hmm. 
then yes. there's this, which would give it another 10 or 15 days. So that's plenty of time we have before somebody, I'd have to put up a poll. We have somebody right now who has been pretty regularly commenting on the, the little Gaia videos. He, they don't comment on every video, but they've mm -hmm. been commenting on a, a fair number of them, like almost half. And, <laughs> and they they were wondering if we were going to play Lagaya too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm 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 very curious what his responses are going to be to the fact that we at right around Salt Tower, like we were just like, nah, fuck this difficulty, we're done. Because a lot of recent commenters have been like, dude, the grind is so crazy in this game, and like. Uh, just you wait. Lee's had something planned. It's called Noah getting to level 99. Yeah, I still don't know how the hell that happens. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, but yeah, I'm curious what people are going to say. I, I would I would bet you, because we didn't make it a secret that we were doing, because we were already doing cheat codes and junk right at the beginning of the game. So it's not yeah. like, uh, hey, let's just beat this game and be done with it. You know? See, what I was and, and I said what I was doing in the game, too. I, what I was doing was I was using my Game Shark codes to give Miracle Water because Miracle Water increases all stats by four. So I was giving them enough Miracle Water to be able to get through the fights without too much difficulty and not be, like, overpowered. Like, I was trying to at least keep it somewhat of a challenge, just not like mm -hmm. to where everything was taking forever. Yeah. You know, just because I was trying to keep it I, I was trying to keep it from taking way too long. Yeah. And what ended up happening was at some point the, I, the characters just started trying to hand my ass to me on a silver platter, so I was. I just finally reached my limit. I'm just like, okay, you know what? I'm not gonna waste my time with any more fucking miracle water. I'm just gonna raise their stats all the way. Yeah, so I had and the codes we'll, to do it. Yeah, because we'll see what people's reaction is to it. I'm gonna bet you, knowing that we're already doing infinite codes for stuff like Dino Crisis and this, that it's not gonna be an issue. And like, if it is, then then that's on the viewer, not us. You know, and we're transparent. You know, if we do that sort of thing, so. <laughs> Yeah. Um, it's not like and, I hid that I did it. And to be fair, I do think some people would respect that we chose that path because it's like, dude, that grind is terrible. I accept that because we're trying to do this for public consumption. We're not doing this to prove that we're any good at it. I mean, Lee said she's good at these games, but it's like I mean, there is a frustration that gets to you after a while when you know you have stuff to do. And it's like we made nine. We made 49 videos out of that stuff out of that playthrough. It probably the, would have taken us about 55 or 60. If I had the kind of free time that it would have taken to grind all those levels out myself, I would have done it. Yeah. Because I have, when I had no life in my 20s, mm. I did it. I love how I just worded that, when I had no life. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, and I know what you're, I know what you're saying. Cause for me, it's one thing because I go to work and then I go home and then I, I mean, I do a lot for the channel, but it's like, if I need to spend an hour or two hours on persona to level up, I can probably do it. Even though I'm trying to do other things, mm -hmm. you have a family, you have a life, you have other shit that you do that isn't video gaming. And yep. You know, that's way more than ever I'm going to fucking do. So I'm sitting there going all for it. And I'm not a get good person anyway. So I'm like, fuck it. Do what, do what needs to be done to get something done. And yeah. it'll work itself out in the end. Because this is meant to be enjoyable, not to this, be a frustration. This is why we get along so good. I can cheat and he don't care. <laughs> and he can cheat and I don't care. Yay. <laughs> And I mean on games. Get your minds out of the gutter. I, I was about to say, I'm like, I haven't had a date in 25 years. I don't think we needed right. to know that, though. Wait, 25? No. Nine, more, like, more like 20. Um, and how long has it been since Barca and I have gone out on a date? Too long to remember. <laughs> And we've been together for five years or more. 
but right. yes, cheating in video games. We're we're not the we're not the crowd of people that says you're going to de- you're going to defeat the purpose of the thing that you're doing and blah, blah, blah. and then spending time on Twitter thinking we're better than everybody else because we've beaten the game on hard mode. I'm like, good on you. I got stuff oh. to do in my life. Bye. The thing that I hinted at that Dino Crisis Two has. Guess what it's got. One. You can run and shoot your weapon while ho- you can run. You can shoot your weapon while running. Yay! Two. It has a 180 turn button, so all you have to do is Yay. push a button, and you automatically turn 180 degrees. Now all it needs is sharks with laser beams. With freaking laser beams, and then we'll be perfect. Wait, where did I go so- from dinosaurs to Doctor Evil? I don't know. Are you trying to say that you want some frickin' sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their frickin' heads? Of course I do! I mean, I would say who doesn't want that, but I don't. I'd rather have bunnies. And we got guppies instead! I said bunnies. I don't like I know. The, I don't the like joke fish. was they got guppies. Oh yeah, they did. They did, yeah, I remember. Anyway. Okay, I'm going to go on and read this diary now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> August 8th. I talked to the chief today once again, but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted T-virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. But the entire mansion went up in that explosion, along with any incriminating evidence. Since Umbrella employs so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. August 17th. We've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. 24th. With the help of Jill and Barry, I finally obtained information vital to this case. Umbrella has begun research on the new G-Virus, a variation of the original T-Virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? We talked it over and have decided to fly to the main Umbrella headquarters in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. A little late for that. Well, that's just how he signs everything, apparently. She'll forgive me in the end. I'm Which, a dork. This is kind of a spoiler, but that's one of the ep- that that's actually revealed in one of the epilogues in Resident Evil Three. When mm. you play Resident Evil Three, your replay value comes from the fact that one, there's two possible variations on the ending. There's also lots of different choices you can make throughout the game that kind of like make it a little bit different each time you play. Leon. It's good to see you're still among the living. It looks like we're not going to find your brother here after all. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and... Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. Um. What was I saying? Um. Oh, oh yeah. There, um. You can. There's, Shotgun! There's lots of different little, uh, quick. I guess almost like a quick time event where you have to make a choice and the choices that you make you can make different choices each time and it kind of keeps your playthrough original mm. that and the fact that there's two different ways the ending can go um and also after you've beaten the game and you and the credits have gone there are epilogues you can unlock there's eight different epilogues and they all have to do with characters that have been in the previous games like there's an epilogue for leon and for claire and for sherry um there's an epilogue for barry there's an epilogue for jill and chris and for carlos i think 
though. Like, there's there's lots of different epilogues you can unlock that give you kind of like a little... Because I don't know if they really intended to do another sequel after Resident Evil 3. But they kind of left it open because Jill was more determined than ever to go after Umbrella after that. Mm. Um... And, like I mentioned the first time we recorded this, if I had a turbo button, I would totally do this, but you can check this desk 50 times. And yes, I do mean 50. The big five zero. If you check this desk, this is Wesker's desk. After 50 checks, you'll find a special film that you can develop in the dark room downstairs. And it's a picture of Rebecca in a little basketball outfit. And it's really cute. Hmm. But I'm not going to do that because that's just way too time consuming right now. All right. Because I think we're running at 36 minutes or so right now. Should well, we call it? Wanna, yeah. If you want to, we can call it here and then you get to see what I do with this unicorn medal in the next episode. Yay. So that's what we're going to do. But yes, Leon A has begun. We'll get to this and Claire A. But we got to start somewhere. We started today and we'll keep on going next time. Thanks for watching.